welcome to the lecture number 57 design and analysis of experiment i am a ta of this course my name is sovik das in this lecture i will perform that how to do anova using minitab so this is the topic of this lecture so the content will be anova example in minitab then i will do some uh, randomized complete block design that will that will also be performed in minitab so directly i am going to the case study in this case study it is saying that an analyst is interested to investigate the relationship between the material types and the strength for a product this is a randomly performed experiment that uh, we can see that uh, in material type b for strength is six and the uh, and strength is the first strength the randomized is it random one this is 63 then it is random two means we are performing the run in a random order so we will take this example and we will do in anova uh, we will do anova analysis using minitab that how to do it in minitab so this is the data input that how we will import the data in Minitab. So, I am going to the Minitab software. First, I am writing all the uh, yeah. this is the material type, hmm. this is material type. So, this is A, B, C, D, then it is 62, 60, 63, 59. 63 59 then it is 63 67 71 64 65 66 68 66 71 67 68 68 and this is 56 then 62, 60, 61, 63, 64. Now, our first task is we have to get this data in Excel. So, see this section that how we have entered the data in Excel. That this is material type A. So, we have put all the values in column like 62 it is in the uh, under a then 60 63 in that way we have organized the data now we will just copy it copy and we will open our minitab software and just we will paste it so the data is uh, data is coming in the minitab now we will go to the stat after the stat we will go to the ANOVA and then from ANOVA it is one way ANOVA. So, now they are asking that response data are in one column for all factor level, but our factors are A, B, C, D and data are in different column. So, we will put the response data are in separate column for each factor level. Then we will go for response. So, it is coming that response are 4 response for factor level A, factor level B, factor level C, factor level D. So, we will select all the first A, then B, then C, then D. After, this, after selecting all the responses, we will go to the option section. In option section, it is saying that confidence level is 95. You can change it according to your problem statement. Now, it is saying also that type of confidence interval, it is two sided or one sided, uh, the lower bound is given or upper bound. So, we will put it two sided. Then we will go OK. Then this is comparison. Then in the lecture, we have seen that there are two comparison. 2 case test and Fisher LSD test. It is basically compare the means of the treatment. So, we will tick this 2K and feature. 
then we will go ok. Then graph, what types of graph we need? Here interval plot, individual value plot, box plot of the data. So, then for residual plot it is individual plot, histogram of residual, normal probability plot of residual, residual versus fit, all the things we can tick. So, we will get all the graph. Then this is the result that uh, what types of result we want to get this uh, in sample table we will get all the result we will get that what method we are using what is the factor information then the ANOVA table what the model summary and then means. So, I am going last to ok. So, this is all the graph we have got that this is histogram this is residual versus fitted value this is normal probability plot this is box plot of all the factors this is individual value plot, then interval plot, then Fisher LSD, Fisher LSD plot, then 2 case and also we will get the result here. So, in the here we can see if I extend it, uh, so we can see that this is our my ANOVA table that there are uh, factors in sources this is factor that is treatment in uh, lecture we have learnt it as a treatment in minute tab it is coming as factor. So, the degree of freedom is 3 as there are 4 factors. So, then that will be 4 minus 1 that is 3 then what is the S S square this is 2 to 8 then what is the M S square this is 2 to 8 by degree of freedom that is 76 then error error term also will get S S error the in the degree of freedom, freedom is 20 the total is uh, 24 data we have. So, 24 minus 1 this is uh, degree of freedom of total 23 and 23 minus uh, factor degree of freedom 3 that is then we will get the error degree of freedom that is 20. So, in error the SS is 112 adjust SS is 5.6. Now, accordingly also here we get in model summary we get that what is the standard deviation then what is the r square value what is the adjusted r square value all the things then what is the mean of the factor a what is the standard deviation of the factor a what is the 95 percent confidence interval of the factor a all the things we have got now this is the two case comparison test and the fisher lsd information also we have got in this section so this is how to perform mini tab so in manually what we do in uh, when we analyze uh, ANOVA what we do uh, first we add all the value suppose in this section this is y i dot what we do we add 62 plus 60 plus 63 plus 59 plus 63 plus 59 suppose we have got a sorry this will be a 1 to differentiate from this type then for b again we will add a this so we will get b1 for c we again we will add this we will get c1 for d it will be d1 then we will add all the three all the four a1 plus b1 plus d1 so this will be y dot dot and the total value that is n here is this is 4 and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 4 into 6 that is 24. So, our in our ANOVA what is the SS treatment that is nothing but summation of i is equal to 1 to a number of treatment a is the number of treatment y i dot square minus y dot dot square by n. So, all the y i dot we will get y dot dot we will get from here n we will know 24. So, in this manner we will get SS total SS sorry SS treatment this is SS treatments. Then for SS total we will do that all the value square the 62 square plus 60 square plus 63 square plus 59 in this manner up to 64 square. So, this will be double summation 
i is equal to 1 to a, j is equal to 1 to b, y i j square minus y dot dot square by n. Then s s error will be s s total minus s s treatment. Then we will get the m s error m s sorry m s treatment first is equal to s s treatment by treatment degree of freedom degree of freedom of treatment then same manner m s error we will calculate. So, in mini tab what we are getting that this is the SS uh, treatment a uh, sorry MS treatment that is 76 and MS error this is 5.6. Now, the F value we will calculate F value is equal to MS treatment by MS error. So, the F value we will get. Now, we have to compare with the tabulated F value. Here tabulated F value is M S treatment is the degree of freedom of M S treatment is this is will be 3 and M S error will be this will be 20 and in this case our alpha is 0 0.05. So, from table we will get this value. Now, we have to compare that A value is greater than from this tabulated value or less than from this tabulated value. So, if this value will be greater than the tabulated value, then we can say that the material type is significantly affecting the yield rate or if this is the less than, then we can say that material type does not significantly affecting the mean rate. So, this is the mini uh, ANOVA analysis in mini tab. Now, I am going to and how to analyze randomized complete block, block design in Minitab. Ah, so, this is the randomized complete block design. So, last I have said that why it is randomized that we are performing all the experiment in random order that is it is called randomized and why it is complete, complete block design because uh, if we take we, if we see this example, this is material type and strength and these are the yield rate. So, if we take that strength, the analy uh, the strength uh, is given by different machine. So, due to this machine variation, yield rate can be different. So, we have we have taken the strength is as a block. So, when we take it as a block, we see that all the material type if this is A is the block, B is the block, then uh, from this we can see that in A all the material types are present, in B all the material types are present that is it is that is that is why it is called complete that all the complete material types are present in one block. So, in ANOVA when we going we are going to analyze uh, block design randomize complete block design we have to design our data like this. First, we, ha we, have, uh, we have this type of data, this is material type, this is strength A, B, C, D, E, F. So, this is, these are the yield rate 62, 60, 63, the same data we are using here. Now, we have to design in such a manner that material type 1, 2, 3, 4, then for strength A, all the observation are there then for strength B all the observation for there. So, this type of structure of data we have to make. In Excel we have to put all the data. So, I am writing this is material type then it will be strength then it will be yield rate. 
so material type 1 2 3 4 and for strain this will be a a a a so this is our data so for material type 1 2 3 4 and for strain a a a a so this is 62 63 68 56 real rate is 62 then 63 then 68 then 56 then again material type 1 2 3 4 strength will be b b b b real rate will be 60 67 66 62 then it will be five, uh, again material type 1 2 3 4 then it will be c c c c the data will be 63 Seventy one, seventy one, sixty. Then again, it will be into three four D D D D is fifty nine, sixty four. 67, 61, 1, 2, 3, 4, this will be E, 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 this is 63, 65, 68, 63. Last one is 1, 2, 3, 4 material type and strength is F, this is F, this is F, this is F and EL rate is 59, 66, 68 and 64. Now my data set is ready. So now I can copy from here and directly put to the mini tab. So, now my data set is ready in mini tab. This is the data set of complete randomized complete block design. Now, I will go to the stat, then I will go to the DOE, sorry I will go to the ANOVA, then from ANOVA it is generalized linear model then from general linear model to fit general linear model. Now, it is saying that what are the response, here response is yield rate, so select, what are the factors, factors are material type and also strength. So, we are taking strength as a block, so now random and nest, this is material type, this is fixed model then in model interaction to only material type and strength their interaction we are not considering as it is the strength we are taking it is as a block then in option there is 95 percent and two sided then in graph we will go to the graph and all the graph we will one in a single page so four in one this is the option and result the so, all the result we know we want to get. So, all the tick we have done. Now, we will go to the OK. So, this is the graph we have got that this is normal probability plot, this is a serial versus fitted value, 
this is frequency of the residuals, this is observation order versus residual. So, now in this case we have got that this material type and the S s square is 2 to 8 and the strength we have taken as a block it is 41.50 and error it is 70.50. So, again the same thing we will, we will do that we will calculate the m s using the adjusted s s square and degree of freedom. Then again we will calculate that f value whether the uh, treatment mean that in material type is the treatment here whether the treatment means are affecting the EL rate or also the block. The block we have taken that is affecting the EL rate that we will get from f value and again all the uh, details of the model that what is the standard deviation r square value adjusted r square value we will get and the total things we will get. So, this is the randomized complete block design. So, in manually what we do suppose this is our material type this is our material type in this example all the things are 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is the strength that we have taken as block A, B, C, D, E, F and all the value are there, values are there suppose it is A 1, B 1, C 1, D 1, U 1, F 1, A 2, B 2, C 2, D 2, E 2, F 2, A 3, B 3, C 3, D 3, E 3, F 3, then it is A 4, B 4, C 4, D 4, E 4, F 4. So, again the same way we will calculate all the sum of this, this is y i dot that a 1 plus b 1 plus c 1 plus d 1 then we will get big a 1. If we calc uh, sum all the a 2 plus b 2 then this is a 2 similarly a 3 and a 4 and if we sum this is y dot j if we sum all the a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 4 we will get b 1 this is b 2 b 3 b 4 b 5 b 6 then uh, we will calculate the total sum that is either a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 4 or it will be b 1 plus b 2 plus dot 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 plus b 6 and here also n is the total number of that is 4 here and then this is 6. So, 6 into 4 that is 24. Now, using this data set in randomized in RCBD randomized complete block design we will first, first calculate SS total. SS total is sum of all the things that is A 1 square A 1 square plus B 1 square plus C 1 square plus all the sum that is summation of I is equal to 1 to A and J is equal to 1 to B, A is the number of treatment and B is the number of block Y i j square minus Y dot dot square here Y dot dot is this either A 1 plus Y dot dot is A 1 plus A 2 plus A 3 plus A 4 or B 1 plus B 2 plus B 3 plus B 6. So, now Y dot dot square by N here n is 24. So, in this manner we will get the S s total then S s treatment it will be 1 by b summation of i is equal to 1 to a y i dot square minus y dot dot square by n and S s block will be 1 by A summation of j is equal to 1 to B y dot j square minus y dot dot square by n. 
now ss error can be calculated using ss total minus ss treatments minus ss block and we know the degree of freedom of ss treatment is there are four treatment in this data there are four treatment so degree of freedom will be 4 minus 1 that will be 3 and there are six block a b c d e f so the degree of freedom will be 6 minus 1 that is 5 so we can calculate that ms treatment will be ss treatment by degree of freedom of treatments that is 3 and ms block that will be ss block by degree of freedom of the block that is 5 and also ms error we can calculate in similar manner that is ss error by degree of freedom of error. So, now we can calculate the f value, f value of treatment, f value of treatment it will be m s treatment by m s error and f value of block will be m s block by m s error and from that analysis we can see that what are the effects of treatment and block. So, all the things we will get from the lecture that sir has taught in the previous uh, lecture that uh, ANOVA randomized complete block design you will get uh, all the things and all the concept that why you, uh, we are using ANOVA, why we are, us we are going uh, for randomized complete block design. So, please go through all the lecture that Sarah has taught and this lecture is basically how to use mini tab for analyzing ANOVA and randomized complete block design. Thank you.